Hey everybody, and welcome to an OBS tutorial, which you don't really see on my channel, but I thought I'd give it a go because um, I kind of like this uh, setup, and if you are uh, someone like me who does a lot of videos, especially now during the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020, uh, shout out to anyone who made it to the future if you're watching this in the future. But if you are live streaming, or you are using Zoom, or you're using OBS, or you're using the OBS virtual camera in Zoom, you can create a really cool scene that has captions. So this video is going to be a quick tutorial about how to add quick captions to your stream and then crop it and do all the things that you need to do to get captions immediately available. Now this is just one of many options you can use for your videos. Of course, PowerPoint has captions built in now and subtitles built in just by you talking over the slides. But in this case, if you wanna use captions live and you're not using, uh, you're not using PowerPoint or you want to switch to the whiteboard or you want to do something else, you have a um, have another option up your sleeve. Here I have my OBS window open. So let's jump right into it. So you, you can see that I have a very simple OBS setup. And um, I have the current uh, newest build of OBS, 20, OBS 26.02. I guess that's how we'll say it. Um, and it's very simple setup. I actually, for my streaming, use um, Streamlabs OBS. So this is a, a fairly cut down version and I think it's perfect to use for this. So I'm gonna use OBS in this tutorial and then I'm just gonna use a uh, a simple Chrome window to help you out here. So what I want to do is I want to use, uh, so I'm going to use my iMac monitor only scene and I'm going to add a source to it. And the source is going to be from uh, Google here. <laughs> no, it's going to be from uh, a, a website. And that website is called Web Captioner. Oops, Captioner. Oop, there it was. Um, webcaptioner.com and so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and it's going to be a very simple setup I promise you it's going to be a very simple setup because all you have to do when you open this is open you can go to webcaptioner.com slash captioner and it'll open up the captioner captioner and uh, it'll start captioning for you <laughs> so there it is um, it, it uh, it uses your microphone immediately. Whatever microphone you have, it will start. And it'll tell you this whole too quiet thing, but you know what? It's hearing me. Now you can stop captioning. I'm gonna go ahead and stop captioning just in case. You can stop captioning and um, you can see that I'm already logged into my own thing, but you can um, uh, change your channels if you need to, which I think is pretty cool. So you can um, add channels by using webhooks. Uh, so whatever you use there, but you can also go into your settings. So these are my settings. Just to quickly show you, um, show uh, so show volume meter when level is too low, but I also have it set to high sensitivity. So I turn that on. You can also censor profane language. So if you say the F word or something like that, it will, um, give I think uh, uh, dots or asterisks something like that um, you can use large navigation bars um, you can um, add line breaks if you stop talking so I'll show that I'll, I'll start captioning again once we're back into setting this up um, you can always uh, start captioning on page load so I have that enabled and then you can change your um, hotkeys appearance. So what I have is this open dyslexic uh, font family, which I think is great because it is a font that is designed to have differences in letters. You can see that they are thinner at the top and fatter at the bottom. And um, you can uh, set this up to be uh, bigger, uh, a different color, 
uh, line height, all of this stuff. You can you can make your captions really your own, where they show on the screen, um, and uh, how much padding each of the lines get, what the background color is, and what the text shadow is. Like you can you can play with this as much as you want. You can then you can connect it to OBS if you really really want to. So. Uh, I haven't done this yet. I'm going to show you how to do it with a window capture, but there is definitely a way that you can do this uh, it, by going through this OBS channel. Uh, it's new, as you can see, but you can also do zoom. And um, so if we click on OBS, this is how you can you can uh, download the WebSocket plugin and uh, do it like that. I think I might give that a try at some other some other time, but if you're not comfortable with doing all of this or downloading different programs, this way that I uh, this way that I will be doing it in this video will help you out. Okay, so let's jump into that. Okay. So I am going to add a if I go to OBS here, I'm going to go ahead and add a source. And I'm going to do a window capture. And I'm just going to call this captions because it's always going to live in this scene, okay? And um, when I go and click on it, it's going to ask me for the properties for captions. And so I'm going to grab one of my windows that are open, and it's put, it puts it in alphabetical order by program name. So I, all I have to do is find Google, Google Chrome. So here it is, and then there's Web Captioner. And uh, there it is, and then I'm gonna click OK. And now I have this captioner here. It's a window caption. Uh, the only thing that Windows OBS can do that Mac, o, uh, Mac OS's cannot do in window capture is capture the mouse. So you can see in OBS I have here, you can see me looking through, pointing at zoom in the uh, window over here, but it's not showing in the actual item in the window capture, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, so I can move that around uh, in OBS and I can make it smaller. Uh, but what I wanna do first is I wanna find a good place to put it. Oops, let's not move my window. <laughs> I'm trying to move the wrong thing. Uh, let's move my window up here. Let's choose captions here. And I'm gonna make this captions window bigger. And what I'm gonna do with my actual captions window is I'm gonna go back to start captioning and I'm gonna pull it all the way down to the smallest window that uh, OBS will do. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it off my screen so you can actually see it. Uh, and so, and then I'm gonna put this one down here and then I'm gonna use option or alt depending on which kind of machine you have and I'm going to crop out the rest of this Chrome window so you can only see that and I'm actually going to crop out a few more oops sorry uh, pick the wrong one excuse you pick uh, that one okay I think I had the wrong thing and so what I do in my videos is I actually have this small thing here and now I have this and I can put it anywhere I want to in the OBS window and you can see exactly where it goes and it'll be available for anyone to watch and you can also expand this and make it bigger it doesn't get rid of your cropping so if you want your if you want your captions or subtitles to be much bigger or much smaller depending on what your other overlays or wherever your modifications are uh, wh where your face cam is or whatever, you can have it there. We can also, and the last thing I wanna show you is tell you all of the ways that we can uh, modify this to make it a little either uh, if we wanted to have a black background because our, our background's gonna be black or if this is going to be a, over white backgrounds and so maybe you want it to be a little uh, opaque. So we can add some filters into this. So we can add an effect filter um, and we can uh, do a color correction. I'm just gonna call it color correction and we can take down the opacity here, okay? And it, this will look, so I, I, I took the opacity down. Let's, let's do 
and close that. And now this doesn't look so unassuming, but on a dark background, it's still readable. And if I expand this even more to the entire uh, bottom, you know, sixth of this, of, of my OBS window here, you can see that if I bring this, and now if I bring this here, look at that, I have uh, captions. It's pretty amazing. I really, really, you can, and, and you can put the OBS, uh, or, or excuse me, you can put the uh, window uh, web captioner anywhere you want. You can put the OBS anywhere you want. So if I brought this off the screen, it's now not there anymore. <laughs> but if I put it back, it'll be there as well. So because uh, I'm not recording the other screen that I have stuff on. So that's how you can add quick captions using web captioner. And when I hit stop captioning, uh, it'll come up with uh, supporting web captioner. And so if you can, please do support these uh, these folks over at web captioner. They're adding new functionality, just like I said, with uh, the, if you have OBS 25 or greater, uh, you can add that uh, webhook uh, functionality directly into OBS instead of having to do a window capture. But this is the window capture way for web captioner. And so you can have captions on your OBS virtual camera or OBS videos or live streams, and you don't have to rely on YouTube to caption it for you and then go back and correct those. I know it's not the, it's not a perfect situation. It's not a perfect, uh, it's not a perfect captioning service, but it's actually pretty good. It doesn't get uh, it doesn't get some uh, words what right, but as you can see, it's constantly trying to figure out what I'm saying and how I'm saying it. See, it said howling, and then it changed to how I'm saying. So I think it's actually pretty good. And it works to do it in real time or record for videos. Thanks for watching this video. If you uh, like this content, please leave a like. If you'd like to uh, subscribe to see more of my content, whether it's psychology or technology based or a mixture of both with my statistics programs, tutorials. Thanks for watching.